guys and welcome to my channel and tonight we have let's cook alina green okay so i'm making a brand new recipe it's called a zucchini what's it called zucchini pizza casserole sounds really good the crust is made of zucchini and three different cheeses and eggs and you put it down well i'll just show you instead of just telling you i'm going to show you okay the first thing i have to do is i have to grate a whole bunch of zucchini so i'm going to say this recipe is a little more labor intensive than things i've done before so i'm going to peel this and grate it be right back they are slippery little suckers when you peel a zucchini it's slippery back to work peeled them, I grated them, and I needed four cups. So two and a half regular size zucchinis yielded about two and a half cups. Now what I have to do is I have to spread it on a dishcloth. Um, it's to get all the moisture out and it's got to sit on here for about 30 minutes. Go ahead and start cutting up my bell pepper. I don't, always I don't know why, but I take the middle out. <laughs> I'm sure I'm wasting. Y'all ever watch that show, uh, The Worst Cooks in America on the Food Network? I would get a red mark every time on my finger because I don't know how you do it like this. That feels so unnatural to me. Okay, a cup and a half of bell peppers. Good to go for our pizza casserole. I'm excited about this. I think it's gonna be yummy. Okay, this is the coolest gadget ever that I have in my kitchen. I, this is one of my favorite kitchen things. It's a little chopper and it, it, it works like, a, I always say it's like a lawn. <laughs> I'll do it on the counter. It always sounds like a lawnmower to me. Okay, let me uh, cut up my onion. I only need a half a cup. Okay, we only need a half a cup. So it's not gonna be, you know, very much. So I'm just gonna chop it in kind of big chunks. Pop it down in there. Here's the cool part, y'all, watch. You get that on there. It's a, it's a non-slip, you know, it's rubber on the bottom, so it's not gonna slip. <laughs> it's so cool. All right, you hold it right here, and then you're gonna pull this. It's just like starting a lawnmower. Look at that. It's a nice little workout too for your arm. All right, I'm pretty sure that's gonna be enough for a half a cup, let's see. Hopefully it is. Perfect. Okay, now I'm gonna start getting some of the moisture out of this zucchini. Just gonna use paper towel so I can really see the moisture coming up. too much. You're going to transfer this into a bowl. All right. It looks like it's going to stain this, y'all. <laughs> so don't use a dish towel that you cherish. I got to get my oven going to 400. Oh shoot, I forgot my cheddar. I thought I had to get some cheddar cheese. So, into the zucchini, the shredded zucchini, we're gonna add two eggs beaten, add a half a cup of reduced fat cheddar cheese, and then reduced fat mozzarella, two thirds cup. making the crust. You know, it's almost like, you know, our pizza crust that we buy is cauliflower and cheese and egg. That's really what it is. So this is making one, but using zucchini instead. 
So I, I'm really kind of excited about this. I think it's gonna be really good. And then a half a cup, is that right, a half a cup? Yeah, half a cup of Parmesan cheese. This is a fourth of a cup deal, so. And it, it specifically said grated parm, so not like the powdery stuff. So grated parm, and I could not find reduced fat parm. I never can. Oh, that's a little too much. There we go. <laughs> that was a little mad. That was heaping. Okay, now let me get a uh, spoon. Okay, I sprayed the 13 by 9 pan that that's going to go in. Now you just mix this up. I never know, guys, when I'm doing these new things, <laughs> how it's going to come out, but I think it's going to be really good. Learning all kinds of new ways to use vegetables. All right, here's my nine, uh, my, what is it? Nine by 13 pan. Let's pour that in. Okay. And then you're just supposed to kind of press it out. And you're gonna bake it at 400 for 25 minutes. It's forming the crust for your pizza casserole. I'm gonna try to get it as even as possible. Okay, I think that looks pretty even. All right, I'm gonna put this in the oven for 25 minutes. And while that's baking, I'm gonna get the um, meat mixture together. Okay, so now I'm browning up my ground beef. It calls for one and a half pounds. Well, you know, beef, ground beef doesn't come like that. <laughs> so I had to just take half of this to put in there. So I'm probably gonna save this and make some hamburger patties on the grill. Just a couple of hamburger patties. Scott will take them for lunch or whatever. Um, so yeah, that that's what that'll be used for. Oh, here comes my helper. Hang on. Where? I've been recruited. My sous chef just showed up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have a, a client call I have to make here in about 10 minutes. Oh. And so I need him on ground beef duty. Oh. So the recipe says to put these bell peppers on the top at the end and cook it for 20 more minutes. I know he doesn't really like raw bell peppers that much. And so, especially on a pizza. So I'm gonna add them to the ground beef and let them cook down a little bit. Oh, there you go. I think he'll like that better. Um, so in the ground beef, we're gonna put onion, bell pepper, and garlic. Yum. Hey. Y'all, this is his specialty. In college, he lived on, what was it? White rice and ground beef. That's right. That was like- Cheap meal. That's what he lived on. Get in there, man. Show him what you got. Yeah. <laughs> all right, once it's brown, you're going to add all those onions, all those bell peppers, and a teaspoon of that garlic. Okay? You got it? A pinch and a smidgen. That's right. Oh, I just realized I'm going to need my phone to make my call. <laughs> so we'll have to hurry. And you keep doing that, and I'll measure out the rails. How's it coming? Perfect. Get that. I'm going to go ahead and add, let's go ahead and add this. Alright, All right, so we added the bell peppers and the onions. Just keep on stirring. And I'm going to add a teaspoon of garlic. Man, I love garlic. It smells so good. Alright, keep browning that and then I'll add the um, rayos. All right, that is drained. Boy, that's loud. Now I'm gonna put the rayos, one and three-fourths cup. That's one cup, three-fourths cup. All right, now we're gonna let that cook. And then when the crust is done, we will pour this on top of the crust. 
covered in cheese and continue to bake. Y'all, this is smelling so good. All right, my timer just beeped, so I'm gonna get my crust out of the oven and pour on the toppings. Hold on. Mm -mm 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 -mm. It smells so good, Lucy. Shh. All right, so now what I'm supposed to do is pour this on top of that and top it with cheese, put it back in the oven. So here we go. Y'all, I hurt my wrist, and so it is so hard to pick this up. Okay, here we go. I need to get me one of those wrist, uh, like, braces. Y'all, and it's all crusty around the edges. I sprayed this pan. I hope it, um, I hope it doesn't totally stick. All right, so there's the topping for the pizza casserole. Now we're gonna top it with the rest of the cheese. And, and then we're gonna bake it for 20 more minutes. So it's a mixture of the cheddar and the mozzarella. And you can also put jalapeno peppers. Scott does not like jalapeno peppers, but I do. So I am gonna put on one section of this some jalapeno peppers. Trying to get this as even as possible. And normally what the recipe would have said to do would put the bell peppers on top of this. I would actually like it like that, but Scott likes his bell peppers cooked. That's why I mixed it in with the ground beef. All right, I'm just gonna put some jalapeno peppers down here on this side. So just put these down there. Yum. Okay, it's going back in the oven for 20 more minutes. Okay, I just took this out of the oven, y'all. Oh, yum. Yum. All right, I'm gonna cut this up and Scott and I are gonna get ready to eat. That's so funny. Our lamp was fluttering back there and we thought it was lightning. lightning. Okay, y'all, this smells so good. Yeah, it does. Here, show them. Here, let me let me scan it down. Let's do this, this is better. Don't do that, it's gonna slide off. Oh. I did that a while ago, trying to get a picture and it started sliding off. All right, yeah. Okay, mine has jalapenos. Y'all, this is a complete lean and green, the zucchini, the bell peppers and the reos is your three greens. The eggs, cheese, and meat is your lean. And then um, condiments are the onions and the peppers for me. Yeah, she's spicy. <laughs> and you lost me at zucchini. But I'm gonna try it. You love that cheesy taco skillet. It's full of zucchini. I know, but now that you told me. It's a zucchini crust. <laughs> All right, let's just try it. Let's just take a bite. It's cool. I think it's cooled off enough. The crust is, um, it's crisp around the edges, but it's pretty soft underneath. Here, I'll get you in there. Oh. You just disappeared. All right, here we go, y'all. Trying to get, um, not, make sure it's not so hot it burns my mouth. Yeah, mine's cooled off, y'all. Here's my bite. Big take bite. I was waiting. <laughs> I was waiting. I think we've told them that story. Mmm. Oh, yum. <laughs> it's another winner. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that's good, y'all. You know, it doesn't really taste like pizza to me. It's called pizza casserole. Well, it tastes like a deep, deep dish. Does it? Mm -hmm. It did to me. A little bit, but not. I maybe, so. maybe if it had pepperoni in there, it would be good with pepperoni. Well, sure it would. All right, we're gonna go eat our dinner, y'all. Mm -hmm. um, I will put the recipe down in the description box. Um, anyway, let's go eat our dinner. I'm eating. You guys have a wonderful, beautiful, blessed day. And as always, stay safe and stay well. Have a happy new year. And we will Please. see you next year. Next year. And we're, we're out. out.